Hi guys, Chef Kevin Belton here. Hope you're having a fantastic day. Now, I'm gonna do pesto today. Typically pesto is done with basil, with pine nuts, and everybody complains because the pine nuts have gotten so expensive. And basically it's basil, pine nuts, pinch of salt. Some folks put garlic in it, a little oil, and Parmesan cheese. That's your basic pesto. And everyone tends to always use pesto and toss it with pasta. But today, I'm gonna make a different pesto and I'm gonna show you a different way of using it. So here, I have some arugula. Now, arugula is a tangy lettuce. It has a little bit of a tang to it. And this is baby arugula. So I have two cups of baby arugula that I'm gonna get into our processor. Just get that in. I also have some parsley that I'm gonna get in. Now, you know, if, if, you, if you've had pesto before and you say it's such a strong flavor, well, you know, if you're not a basil fan, that's why it has such that st strong flavor because of that basil. So this might be a nice option for you. A little shredded Parmesan cheese. So basically what I've got in right now, we have in our arugula, our parsley, and our Parmesan cheese. So let's go ahead get this to pulse right quick and get this all mixed in and pureed. Get that on. Let's put it on. Now, something you have to do periodically is you always have to open it up and push it down. Just go ahead, push it down. Now, I'm doing everything dry right now but we are definitely gonna get some oil in here. And that oil is gonna give us a little moisture. So let's get in our pistachios. This is the nut we're using. We're using pistachios as opposed to pine nuts. So this is something that's nice and different, okay? So let's get our pistachios in. So this is gonna be a different flavor than if we use pine nuts. So let's go ahead and get, see how that start to puree really nice. So to give this a little tartness, I have lemon juice with lemon zest and we're gonna get in a little oil, about two thirds of a cup of oil. I'm gonna hold off on a little bit of the oil out. Let's go ahead and get this smooth. Now, I'm going to go ahead and blend this till it's totally smooth. And when we come back, I'm going to show you how we're going to use our pistachio pesto. All right, so we'll see in a little bit. Hi, right, guys, welcome back. As you see, our pesto is made. Now, I did this, remember, I used pistachios, arugula, Parmesan cheese, a little parsley, a little salt, and I decided to use uh, vegetable oil. All right, I don't think I wanna do this with olive oil because I want the flavors to come through. So if you do this, I would use maybe a vegetable, a canola, a grapeseed oil, something fairly plain. And I did a little sprinkle of salt. So now, let's, how about let's make some uh, nice hand pies and we're gonna use puff pastry to do this. So I have a skillet heating up. I'm gonna get in, I've taken some chicken and I've just taken a chicken breast and just cut it in strips. I just, and I just wanna get this cooked because this is what's gonna go inside of our hand pies. Let's get that chicken in. Come on, hop on in. I wanna get this cooked because once we get this in the oven, all right, all we have to do is wait for our pastry to cook. So let's get that there. Let me get a little bit of Creole seasoning to sprinkle on. Now, while those are cooking, let me wash my hand right quick. I'll show you how I'm gonna cut the puff pastry, okay? 
I'm sure you guys have seen puff pastry sheets in her freezer section. So here, I'm just going to basically follow the line pretty much at the, at the crease where the puff pastry was folded out. And then I'm just going to come across. All right. And I know that's fairly crooked. I'm going to take a little bit of the paper that comes in between the sheets. I'm just going to lay them on top of each other because we're going to get these filled. Okay. So let's do our next one. See, just unfold it. Get the little crease. Get right in the crease. Try to come as straight across as possible. All right. And I just use these sheets to go in between. Now, once we get our chicken cooked, all right, let me get our chicken flipped. See, we just want this to get cooked. And I'm going to decide on what cheese I want to put in here. We can do so many. I'm going to do some with cheese. But think about the different ways we can make these. We can make these so many different ways. If we want to make them for kids with pepperoni and spaghetti sauce, we can. So I'm going to get these cooked. And when we come back, I'll show you how we'll get these together. And we'll get them in the oven. So we'll see you in a little bit. Welcome back. Let me show you what I've done. I've taken, remember, I cut our puff, puff pastry. Take a little bit of your pesto, put it down. And remember the chicken that we cooked? Just take a chicken. You can arrange it however you see fit. Now I'm using a Colby Jack cheese, okay? Now, a little bit of egg wash. Just make sure you brush all the sides. And this is gonna be our top piece. So brush those sides as well. Basically what this does, this helps the puff pastry to seal, okay? So take this piece, lay it over the top, start at the top and just bring your fingers down around the sides and around the bottom. Now I'm just gonna take our fork and crimp it. The egg should seal it, but I like to crimp it just to make sure. Now you can see I have the others done. So what I want to do now, I am going to take our knife, make a little, little incision, just so we have a little air pocket, okay? Just so we have a little pocket for any steam to escape. Let's take our egg wash. And we're gonna brush the tops with the egg wash. This does two things. This helps them to brown off, okay? Plus, we're gonna put a little cheese on top and it'll help our cheese to stay right on the top. Now, you can see the oven is preheating, 350 degrees. Everything pretty much inside is cooked. So they should be in the oven roughly for about 15, 20 minutes. Just keep an eye on them till they get nice and golden brown. Depending on your oven, it may take uh, 30 minutes. So just keep an eye on them. All right, now let's go ahead, get a little cheese on the top of them, all right? I like that little bit of cheese on the top. Now, let's go ahead and get these in our oven. I tell you what, they look so good and they smell so wonderful. Now, I just took them out of the oven, all right? I should have let it cool a little bit, but let me try to go ahead and cut this. Let me show you the inside. Oh, look, it's steaming. Look at that. We can see our pesto, we can see the chicken, we could see our cheese, okay? So I really hope that you try this. Remember, we made our pesto and instead of using pine nuts, we use pistachios. So here is our pistachio pesto made with arugula. And you know, gang, if you aren't a pesto fan, give it
it a shot. Give it a try. Now, I can take this, put this in a container, keep it in the fridge and use it. Typically, everybody always tosses pesto with pasta. But as you see here, we use it in a pocket, okay? You can mix it with a little mayonnaise and spread that on a sandwich, all right? You could take the pesto and put it on top of a piece of chicken and bake it in the oven. So there's all different ways you can use pesto, all right? So make it, try it. I think you're really gonna like it, all right? Keep washing those hands, keep masking up. Thank you so much for cooking with me. For WWL-TV, I'm Chef Kevin Belton, and we'll see you soon.